Welcome back traders and we're going to be taking a look at several daily incense to see what I can get. We're going to be looking at some pretty rare spawns starting it off with this Kabuto here. Now I am going to be in Arizona, in Alaska, the back to Arizona, they're going to be kind of fluctuating here. And then we'll save the best for last. If you did watch my live stream while I was there, then you know what we're going to be encountering. So we will be seeing a Galarian bird in this and it will be exciting. Let's see. Remember I was telling you about maybe I caught one? Maybe, huh? Hmm, we'll see. So we are going to be just kind of focusing on the rare spawns. And I'm just going to give you my thoughts here. And we're just going to talk about it. Now I will tell you a little bit of a story time here. Now while I was in... No, before we start, this is in like uh, Vegas airport. What a nightmare for the spawns. I mean, I mean... The spawns were amazing. I love it all, but I turned on my inset because I knew I was going to be landing at about 1130 in Alaska, and I didn't really want to go out and do a walk when I got home, so I just did it now. But it made it very difficult to tap on anything coming from the stinking daily incense. Wow, what a thing to complain about, right? I wish I can complain about that daily. Too many spawns, I can't tap on my incense. Ah! <laughs> no, it was good times, though. And it, I met people there. Everywhere I drop a lure, I just see people that just come up and like, hey, what's good? What's going on? And guess what? You know what happened? Not one hater approached me. I wonder why. I got a beautiful Toxicroak here. Yeah, I'm going to be using a Pineapple. I don't need to. I've already got a level 50, 100% IV. Just because I like to collect XL candies for the Pokemon that I do like. Now let's go ahead and see some spawns. Now this is not from the incense of Laloon. And we'll get into that story time here in a minute. Didn't forget about it. We do have a Blissey, which was actually incredible. Look, the people who have all these stops and gyms, I mean, come on, you lucky people. <laughs> you have no idea how horrible it is playing in Alaska. Uh, as far as the stops are concerned, I mean, the scenery and having your own space and not bumping into people everywhere you go is absolutely amazing. But the lack of Pokestops and gyms really does suck, even though I'm submitting them on the daily. Well, not on the daily, but quite a few. So let's get back to the story time. Let's go ahead and talk about the Galarian Articuno. All right, so we were in Lake Havasu. I was walking with my mom, my brother, and my brother was taking time off work. He, he's he's on the grind like me. You see, we, we understand we, we can't stop. We're, we don't have the luxury of stopping. And, well, you got a YouTube channel. You can upload whenever you want. It's no problem. No, it's not. No, we can't. <laughs> the uh, algorithm doesn't allow me to do that, right? I'm slept on 24-7. It sucks. So I'm walking with my family, knowing darn good well that I'm going to be turning on my daily instance right now, and I have the potential to see one of these Galarian birds. And uh, yeah, I, I encountered one. So they do have their Galarian bird here. Looks like it ran away from them two days back to back. That would suck. So it did show up as a regular Articuno for me because the incense went for it. And apparently the incense do not catch your daily Pokemon. You got to catch them yourself. Niantic is over here. We've got jokes. Making you really go full hard on it, huh? So it did run, and I, it's not anybody else's fault but mine. <laughs> not like I was going to catch it. Ooh, not like I was going to go into the catch screen and catch my Galarian Articuno. Ooh, yeah, right, not going to happen. So I have seen all of the Galarian birds. We got the Moltres. We got the Articuno, which we didn't necessarily see ourselves, but it definitely was there. Got a nice Gengar off the lure. Let's go. Like I said, I'm going to be putting up all the highlight spawns here. So even though we're not encountering the Galarian birds... For now, for now, we still have some juicy spawns coming out of these here. So yeah, and uh, then we're going to be encountering Zapdos. Oh, I spoiled it already uh, towards the end here. So let's see what we have going on. And here are the results. We always get around 22, 23. And oh, there's always a spawn right at the end for me, usually. That does not include in the whole lump sum of Pokemon that you did catch in your summary towards the end. So we got a Gabite here. This is going to be one of the rare spawns. I mean, it's not like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we got a Gabite. Oh, we didn't catch it that first time. But, you know, when you're playing for so many years, there becomes a point where most Pokemon are not too exciting. It's still, you know, cool to see them get an extra candy, get extra dust for those evolutions and all that. But I'm not going to say the thrill is gone. Oh, well, it is. The thrill is gone because we've got those amazing Pokemon already. There is another summary here. This is going to be the biggest waste I've done for Daily Incense yet. I did get a shiny Galarian Zigzagoon and I did it for Community Day and I was not paying attention to the spawns. I don't know if I had a legendary bird spawn or not. I wasn't really, I don't know. <laughs> there was a summary, three Pokemon and a shiny. 
that's the first shiny I got, but technically that's not like anything special because it's community day. But it was the first one that I did tap on, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, here we go with the live stream. Now this is back into Arizona. We were in Arizona, then Alaska, then Arizona, then Vegas. And now we're back here. So we've been all over the place that you're taking a look at for these daily incense. And it was a, it was a blast. It, you know, it's pretty fun. And I'm going to have to say out of all of them, this was the best one. Not only was I walking in the beautiful, ah, Arizona weather. I love the humidity. If you're thinking, huh, you live there, you're like you're rolling your eyes like, huh, we'll switch spots. With me. Hey, I just can't move because I just can't. Now, here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this beautiful bird. <laughs> freaking combat power five over 1500 <laughs> you want to know something funny right as i was talking about this topic and i'm going to tell you what it was people were saying oh they're helping other youtubers get these and it seems like a scam they're just trying to help them out and i was like yeah i don't know like it could be but i don't think so and right when i said that bam this son of a gun turkey pops up on my screen and i couldn't freaking believe it my legs turned to jelly i just you know you could imagine, you know, freaking Galarian Zapdos pops up on your screen. What are you going to do? Try to catch the best you can. So I'm waiting and you don't want to wait too long because if you do, it will just run no matter what, because it's just despawned from its sp spot and it'll just go, it'll, it'll just run away. So you kind of need to have some sort of pace to yourself here and not just sit there for too long. So I get the great throw. We get two shakes. Oh my gosh. And it freaking runs. We got two shakes. I wasn't even mad. I wasn't even mad because we got it all on live stream. I mean, it would have been cool if I would have just recorded it too, I guess. But we were able to do it live and everybody was able to see it. So there you have it. There's my journey. I encountered all of the Galarian birds. And it's okay. It's a fun time. Thank you for watching and take care. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.